Hey everyone, I thought I would do the second part to the Shake Uthman video, the terrible Dara video that he released uh, yesterday. First bit I did, you can find the link in the description and at the end of this video, which covers the non-Muslim that he spoke to. This second part, he's <laughs> talking to an ex-Muslim and it's even worse. He just gets into a huge shouting match and just shows how bad a Dara he is. So let's just get straight into it. Come, here, come talk to me. How you doing? Good, how are you? What's your name? I'm Case. Case? Yeah, doesn't matter. I'm an ex-Muslim. Okay. You, you were a Muslim? Yeah, I was ex-Muslim. Okay, let me let me ask something. Were you were you from Shia? It or were you matter. Muslim? No, no, it doesn't matter. Right, do you catch that? Were you Shia or an actual ex-Muslim? So in the in the first video I did, I pointed out how Uthman managed to insult Hindus, Catholics, and Protestants, all of his little snarky comments, insults and mockery. For example, saying uh, Hindus worship cows and monkeys and uh, Protestants are cult and Catholics are paedophiles and stuff like that. Right, So he managed to mock all those. Now he's also thrown the Shias in there as well. And again, just to emphasize the point, I believe in them right to be able to mock religions and insult them. But this is one of the guys who will scream about how tolerant Islam is, how it, it never mocks any other people's religions. And he's managed to insult me. I've worked it out. Something like 3.7 billion, all those groups cover Hindus, Shias, uh, Protestants and Catholics, 3.7 billion people. He's managed to insult in the space of one Darwa video. And this is the religion that supposedly doesn't insult others. It doesn't matter because there's a difference. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your name? Hold on. My name's is Osman. Ahmad? Osman. Osman. Yes. Osman. Brother Osman. Right, wait, hold, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. When we speak, when we There's speak, so hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look, let's have a civil conversation. I, I am. Actually, okay. I'm no, no. Laughing, so what I'm, I'm laughing too. That's all because, good. Because what I'm saying. Yeah, he won't be laughing in a minute though. <laughs> He'll be screaming. The thing is, when you speak, I'll listen. Okay. And when I speak, you listen. How's that? So you want to listen to me? As, yes. Go ahead. Okay. Here is gone. Since the beginning of Islam, 14th centuries, right? There were so many killing. It is all within Islam. The versus Shia versus Muslim versus Sunni, Sunni versus Ismaili, and all this stuff. If it was so, like, I'm just many... listening now, okay, respectfully. Good. Yeah, you're not actually listening, you're just waiting for your turn to interrupt, and there's an important difference. And the reason I know that he's not actually listening is because this ex Muslim guy is simply saying, Look, there's a lot of violence in Islam, um, but, uh, particularly he's talking about between different factions and stuff like that. That's his point. Later on in the video, Uthman misrepresents what he's actually said, and I'll come back to that. So that's one thing, right? There's so, I say, there's so much violence in Islam. Second, right? Can, you have can, a can we talk about that one first? Second. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Answer okay. the question. So, Why so, so much? I got you, I got you. So, yeah, so he's already managed to interrupt him. What? He's given him about 30 seconds to speak, and now he's going to go on his own monologue. So, what are you? Do you? Are you Christian? I am actually, I don't have a religion. God doesn't have it. You're an I atheist? God doesn't, no. Okay. I believe in God. Okay. That same Allah Muhammad, you, uh, the Muhammad, uh, you, Allah that you believe, I say Allah or Muhammad, I mean, no more Muhammad. Uh, God doesn't have a religion because you know what? Religion okay. is the earth. Is okay. the, in front of that, you, that makes, everything, okay. right? First thing, I don't think you know what the definition of religion is if you think the earth is a religion, right? No. Well, again, he's been kind of uncharitable there. I mean, clearly the guy is a believer in God, but it's some kind of maybe deism or something like that. You know, that's what he means when he's saying, like, the earth is a religion. It's kind of God's in everything kind of thing. So maybe a pantheist or a deist or something like that. That's obviously what he means. And yeah, he's going to nitpick. Uh, Secondly, hold on, hold on, hold on, that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, 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 no, I listen one, to no, you. No, 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 I listen to you. God. Uh, did you barely? I mean, it was what thirty seconds before you interrupted him. And you were respectful. An Be respectful. Okay, sure. When I listen to you, you listen to me, and I'm not going to jump off topic. You're talking about killing. Again, this is ironic. Jumping off topic. All he does later in this video is jump from topic to topic, and um, and be disrespectful. Who would kill the most people? If you name one person responsible for the most killing in the history of, of mankind, Muslim. the person himself. Listen, sure listen, yeah, listen. Right, see how this is completely irrelevant, okay? What does it matter if you can find some individual who happened to kill more people than, say, certain Muslims in history? That's not the guy's point. All he was pointing out was there's a lot of violence, there's a lot of um, uh, intersect conflict within Islam, and that's not a good thing. 
Uthman, rather than sort of challenging that, you know, he doesn't even do like typical dull apologetic, like, oh, well, you know, some Muslims are bad, but um, Islam is religion peace. You know, he doesn't even try and do that nonsense. He he simply thinks, right, the, the way to justify all that violence is to point to someone else who, at least in his mind, he thinks has done more violence. And that somehow justifies the violence done in Islam. So complete what aboutery. But he also gets all his facts wrong. Big fight. Listen, one person who individually killed the most people was Stalin. Right. You've got to be careful with your terminology here because you could you could say he's responsible for the deaths. He didn't directly kill them. He directly killed very few people. And it does make a difference. Again, I'm not nit nitpicking here because it does make a difference, as we'll see in a minute in the video. But, um, you know, the, you've got a figure like, say, Ivan the Terrible, who was supposedly like at his own hands executed three to four thousand people. And so there's far more brutal bloodthirsty in terms of direct killings. But, yeah, if you want to talk about um responsibility laid at their feet then yes stalin's obviously up there what religion does stalin follow what, what? what fucking difference does that make seriously i mean again it's just going to go on this sad little diatribe that because stalin wasn't a gobbly but because he was an atheist that means that you can attribute his deaths to him not believing in god which is a complete fallacy that's been done a thousand times stalin didn't kill anybody because of atheism okay he killed it because he was a sociopath he killed it because he was trying to cement his power and he would attack every institution that threatened that there's nothing to do with whether he believed in a god or not what religion like yeah what religion atheist. go ahead he was atheist so the person who killed the most people in history was true. atheist this is not true. It is? okay it you is know, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on well again he didn't directly and it, and if you want to talk about who inspired the most or who made it possible for the most, I would question whether it was actually Stalin. But we'll get to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. We're not, we're not going to let you. No, no, we're not going to let you, let you just jump around like that. Brother, brother. Again, the the irony when this guy starts jumping towards the end of the video. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Look again, again. You're you're, you're jumping now because you're caught. in that era. But not not in the killing, era, not in the era. The one person the, who killed the changes. most people, Stalin. Yeah. After Stalin, Mao. Wow. Mao, what religion did Mao follow? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, years, hold on. Years, not right? 20, 30 years. Okay. One person, years. the one person who individually is responsible for the most killing, number one. Ah, see, now that's a better definition because if you're going to talk about individual responsibility, if you want to have this stupid argument, I mean, personally, for me, I think it's stupid, like trying to tot up the number of deaths to individuals or to people based on their religious belief. I think it's important to actually focus on can you say that their religious belief or their lack of religious belief was a, a, at least a contributing motivating factor in the killing? Obviously, you can say things like suicide bombings and stuff like that directly are. But just being religious or just being non-religious isn't enough to say they were killed because of a, a belief in, in God or a lack of belief in God. So this is a completely stupid argument anyway. But if you want to play that game of just totting up numbers, well, you can make a credible case for Muhammad because Muhammad has laid down the principles for which you can kill people, which Muslims have followed for 1400 years. So if you want to do this totting up thing, you could say that through inspiration, through direct commandments and everything else, which has uh, inspired, what, tens, maybe hundreds of millions of deaths um, committed by Muslims all over the world in the past 1,400 years, comes directly from Muhammad. So I think you can make a credible, a, a credible argument to rank him higher than Stalin if you want to make these stupid arguments. So, Uthman, you're onto a loser. And the larger point is, you're supposed to be doing Dawa. You're supposed to be convincing that like Islam is the way to go, is the truth. And your idea of doing that is saying, well, Stalin killed a bunch of people and he's an atheist. Mao killed a bunch of people and he's an atheist. So therefore, that makes Islam true somehow. I mean, this no wonder this guy fails at Darwin if this is his approach. Number two are all atheists. OK, Hitler didn't kill as much as Mao did, nor did. See, you don't know history. Listen, yeah, neither do you, but we'll carry on. No, no, hold on. You, you don't know. You don't know you because you know said Hitler. I don't know. No. I, I'm not quoting from my book. Yeah. Did I quote from my book? Yeah. 
Did I quote from my book? I don't want to take video. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't know what book he's talking about. Has he even written a book? God, I'd be shockingly bad. Okay. Now you don't want video, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay. Video. We're going to video. You don't like it? It's up to you. Okay, that's fine. All right. Now, listen. You know you listen, listen. No, no, no. You, you, you lied. You lied. Hitler even is... He hasn't lied about anything. Well, so, so again, he's making accusations. He brought, I mean, he brought up Hitler. He didn't lie about anything. It's lore, but if you mention Hitler, what religion was Hitler? Brother. What religion was Hitler? Atheist. Hitler was not atheist. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, neither do you. And we'll see this in a second. You're talking about Islam killing the most people. You don't even... Right, he never actually said that. Remember what I said at the start, that he misrepresents what he says? He never said that Islam killed the most people. He simply said right at the start that... Islam has got all this violence associated, which it has done. It's got all this um, intersectional conflict and violence and fights between different Islamic groups, which is also true. That's all he said. At no point did this guy say Islam has caused the most violence. If you want to make an argument that that's the case, then fine, go ahead. But this guy never said that. So Uthman's just directly lying here. You know who was responsible for the most murders? No, you mentioned you Hitler. Understand. Hitler was a Christian. He had an iron... See, again, this is not really true. I mean, he wasn't really an atheist and he wasn't really a Christian. He started, he started off as a Christian. He was raised Catholic um, and probably had Christian sentiments up until early adulthood. But, um, I mean, it's a confusing mess what Hitler believed. But, but I don't think he can, he, you can't really describe him as an atheist or a Christian. I think he had certain supernatural beliefs he had certain quasi god beliefs he did believe in providence and he did mention a kind of creator god that he did believe in but it certainly wasn't anything that was typically christian certainly by the time he was in power so i don't think it's accurate to describe him as an atheist or a christian but obviously uthman's playing this stupid numbers game so he wants to attribute this to christianity to again this is the only way he can think of to try and make islam look good say look at all these monsters that aren't muslim so the muslim monsters they must be the right ones. Cross, he quoted the Bible, and you didn't know that. Okay. So you're just an Islamophobe. So him potentially not knowing that makes him an Islamophobe. What a stupid thing to say. Who's trying to hate on Islam without knowing your facts. No, he's not hating on Islam. What he said about Islam is true. There is an awful lot of violence associated with it. And whether you want to play this game of ranking it on a table is irrelevant. You haven't actually addressed that point. You don't know your facts. You are. When you said Islam is responsible for the most killing, no, no. He never said that. I'm not done talking. I'm not done talking. When you, I'm not done talking. I, I, listen, listen. When I, when you were speaking, I respectfully listened. Now I'm not done. No, you didn't respectfully listen. As I say, you were just waiting for a point where you could interrupt and go on your ramble. Speaking, you didn't to me, right? I, I did. You I asked you. I asked you. you are you done? Can I address your point? Brother. You said yes. Now I'm addressing. You don't want to listen. listen. First thing, you let me finish. Let me finish, and then you can speak. Muslim killed each let me other. finish. Okay. Muslim now, okay. Each other. okay. Did more each other. Christians have more crusades amongst themselves, or fights amongst Christians than Muslims? Yes. Go well, I'm not sure that is actually true. I mean, I'd, I'd be bothered to go back and count. Yes, I mean, both Christianity and Islam have had a lot of interreligious conflict. Again, what <laughs> pointing to the Christians again is just what about me? Look up your history. If you look at World War One, World War Two, who started them? Both sides were Christian. Both sides were Christian. Does he forget about the Ottoman Empire in World War One? You know, the leaders of the Islamic world until they fell. I mean, he talks about not knowing his facts and his history. Jesus Christ. Right or wrong? I understand that. that the, right or wrong? Wrong. Blatantly wrong. And there was also plenty of Muslims involved in World War II as well, including many that fought for Hitler. But you wouldn't want to touch on that, would you? This era, they came to a civilization. We're not talking. Okay, today. When Muslim has today, not come today, to today, 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 you. Right, now that's the guy, that's, a, that's the point he's making there as well. He's saying, okay, yes, there's bloody history everywhere, but you've got parts of the world, um, parts of the non-Muslim world that are generally moving towards a more um, kind of human rights-based domestic society where the Islamic world in general is really struggling in all those areas. Still lots of oppression against women and minority groups and uh, apostates and atheists and, and minority Muslim sects even. So that's kind of his point. Ukraine and Russia, Ukraine and Russia, centuries, Ukraine you know? and Russia, are they both Christian countries? Ukraine and Russia, are they Christian countries? 
what an irrelevant point. Does anyone on this planet think that Russia invading Ukraine has got anything to do with Christianity? Do we really think that? Has, was that Putin's war aim? He's, he, he wants to establish the Russian version of Christianity over the Ukrainian one. I mean, again, what a fucking stupid thing to say. Yes, yes. And are they fighting? They're fighting, yeah. Thank you. Bye. So that means it's not... What do you mean, thank you? That doesn't prove shit. Not about... No, 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 hold on, hold on. The world, man, look at the money no, 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 there are, there, 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 there are a bunch of countries. In, look, in Pakistan, look, in South... In Pakistan, Pakistan fighting who? The, the Pakistan fighting Muslim and Muslim. Who are they fighting? There's no war in Pakistan. There's no... I'm from... There's no war, but there's plenty of oppressive practices. And if you want to look at other places, obviously, um, Yemen, <laughs> civil war, you've got uh, with which the Saudis are partly involved in. You've got Islamic groups all over um, various insurgencies throughout Africa and Asia. So, yeah, there's plenty of wars where Muslims are involved. From Pakistan, bro, don't tell me there's no war in Pakistan. Look, look, we, we have we have shootings in America every day. Right now in Texas, we just had a shooting. OK, what's this got to do with what he's saying? Right? Wait, 150 people died. Police. Yeah, yeah, of course. We just had a shooting right. today. Today in Every Texas. Day. Yeah, we we had thousands that's of people get killed in mass shootings in America. Right, but that's not actually true as well. If you if you want to be accurate about it, there's mass shootings are supposed to be three or more people. I think the definition is, and the figures actually run into hundreds, not thousands. I mean, there are thousands of gun homicides in America, and it's certainly true that it's a it's an issue, but. Um, again, what has this got to do with his point that there's violence in Islam? You can't you you can't win the argument by saying, oh well, I can point to violence elsewhere in the world. Of course, there's violence elsewhere in the world. Yeah, Every year, you know that, right? Gun. I do. You know that. That's I not do. a problem with a gun because people <laughs> in Switzerland ball. have gun. guns in every household. Are, they don't have it. Listen, so then you're going to say in Kuwait, the, the bombing is the problem with yes. the bomb, Dude. not the people. Dude, this is not the problem. <laughs> it's not the gun. It's here. the people shooting the guns, hey, the right? Bearing in mind, just to remind you, like this random, like insane rant about like gun violence and stuff like that. This guy is supposed to be giving Dawa. He's supposed to be trying to convince this guy to come back to Islam. And yet all he can do is fight about levels of violence. This is how bad he is at his job. It is an issue. It is. It is. Of course it's there is. Hatred, of course right? there is. No, 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 no. But in Pakistan, there, in Pakistan, Pakistan that's Muslims all politics. In Kuwait. Ah, right. So whenever Muslims are fighting, it's about politics. But if any non-Muslim does it, it's either it's about their Christianity or it's about their Hinduism or it's about them uh, not having a God belief if you're an atheist. That's a convenient way of looking at the world, isn't it? That's all politics. Understand? It's politics. Yeah, no, no. You, you, you don't want to admit when they're... Yeah, it's it, it's politics when mobs kill atheists and people are accused of blasphemy against Muhammad. In Pakistan, or blasphemy against the Quran, Islam in general. That's politics when those people are killed, right, Uthman? Christians fighting Christians over Christian issues. Fine, when you had again, what Christian issues were being fought in the one example that he gave? What Christian issues are being fought over between Ukraine and Russia? It's obviously territory. Well, they are okay. So, so but when you so, so what you Muslim said more historic 14, 14 centuries. Take the 14 centuries. How many See, millions listen, of people listen, are listen, Muslim? listen, Women listen. Are... Well, yeah, take those 14th century from where the Muslims started in Saudi Arabia, all the way across North Africa, into southeastern Europe, into southwestern Europe, it, it, into the Indian subcontinent, conquering huge chunks of India. You don't think all those millions of, you know, how many tens upon tens, maybe hundreds of millions of people killed? That's not even including the millions and millions and millions of slaves that were taken from conquered parts of East Africa. So, I mean, what the, you know, you're going to deny all that? Or Listen, take, take the 14, no, no, hold on, I'm not done. Are actually in prison 14, in countries, in Islamic 14, countries, they're, they're, not, they're not women being raped and killed in America? But when Afghanistan, there are women in prison? Yeah, For what? They are in prison. You're a like, liar. You know what? Show me. They don't have the right. They don't, they don't have the right, right to what? Whatsoever. Just one second. What right? They what right? right whatsoever. What right? Have you been to Afghanistan? Dude. Have you been to Afghanistan? There's no right. Have you been to Afghanistan? Have you been to Afghanistan? No, I haven't been there, but I'm he, telling you. We have brothers here that just came back from Afghanistan. Let's ask them. Dude. Let's ask them. Dude. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's a great source of information, isn't it? Let's ask a bunch of Salafis who have been there for their anecdotal experience of whether they think that women's rights are being oppressed. That's going to be an unbiased source, isn't it? The no, person who's I'm been there, you. let's ask them. Look. 
Women who's, working. who's been to Afghanistan? Wo You've been are, to Afghanistan? Are women working? You've been to Afghanistan? Women, you tell me. Are women are, are, working? Are women yeah, there? You're telling the Do women have rights? The are they women have schools? working in Afghanistan? No, hold on, hold on, listen. I mean, schools in particular. I mean, I'm pretty sure that women have been banned from university education now. And it, there's been, I think, restrictions on anything about primary education also. So, I mean, that's a really bad example to use. Let, let, him, prison, let him speak. Let him speak. Women can't they, go out in Afghanistan. No education. Where's the education listen, level? Where's listen, the education? Listen. No. Well, I don't think he's saying they can't go out, but there have been restrictions on movements. I think they've been in, introducing the Guardian system, and they do uh, stop checks on them by Taliban fanatics. And it was an article about um, how women were being restricted in terms of using like the the, the park areas. Uh, because apparently they weren't segregating in the way that the Taliban wanted them to. So, yeah, there's a lot of restrictions. Can women go yeah, outside dude, in Afghanistan? On. You're tell a liar. Cut right to, now. Right now. Have you been to... He never said they couldn't go outside. Jesus, this guy's such a straw man little bastard. Indonesia? Tell the truth. What's the biggest Muslim country? Dude, tell What's tell the biggest truth. Muslim country? Now, what the... See, again, this guy accuses him of jumping all over the place. Now he's asking randomly about the biggest... Uh, which is the biggest country in terms of Muslim majority, which, yes, is Indonesia. And yet he accuses the other guy of, uh, you know, jumping around and stuff. What the hell has this got to do with anything? It Tell the matter. truth! Women What's the biggest right? Muslim country? If the woman doesn't have a right, What's the, the biggest Muslim country in the world? Dude, What's the biggest? Matter. Huh? You, you don't have an answer? The answer doesn't fucking matter, Uthman. This is completely irrelevant. It's another irrelevancy already on top of this whole thing, which is kind of irrelevant in terms of you trying to do Dawa. What a shit show. Listen, you don't have an answer? Yeah, you're just an Islamophobe that doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh, so he's an Islamophobe now if he doesn't know that Indonesia is the biggest Muslim majority country. <laughs> I mean, seriously, at, at this point, anything can be Islamophobia to Uthman. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, truth. tell you're spitting on me. You'll back up off me. All right. <laughs> sorry, I know it's a bit childish, but uh, that was actually one of my favorite bits of the video. <laughs> Spat on. Listen, tell what's the, the biggest Muslim country in the world? It doesn't matter what. You don't. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. So you're just harping on pointless shit. No. Indonesia. You're saying Indonesia. Indonesia. Right, so Can women go to school? Can women yeah. go to university? What's that got to do anything? He didn't say anything about Indonesia. Some do they have Saudi PhDs? Arabia, can, Saudi Arabia, women, can't women can't go to school in Saudi Arabia? Women can't go to school in Saudi Arabia? You are so ignorant! Well, again, I mean, it's hard to even hear what the guy's saying because you keep screaming over it. I'm not even sure he actually said they can't go to school. I mean, there were obviously severe restrictions in Saudi Arabia, but things have liberalized over the years. Um, there are women yeah, universities that have PhDs! They get Nobel the Prizes! They no, no! Right, that's just a direct lie, right? There's not a single Saudi Arabian Nobel Prize winner, uh, winner in any discipline, in any field. So that's just a straight up lie. No, no, they didn't just start. Dude, they've they had women drive. universities in Umar Qura. Umar Qura. Yes, they have a burqa because they have haya, unlike your women that are walking around naked. Now he's jumping onto this issue. <laughs> I mean, first of all, yeah, that's great. Yeah, if, if you're not wearing a burqa, according to him, you're uh, you're walking around naked apparently so i mean again what ridiculousness because they have no shame doesn't mean they're liberated just because i'm no shame yeah maybe they don't want to bury themselves in, in you know 10 meters of cloth yeah maybe they want to actually feel the sun yeah. muslim woman you know what, is dude? covered doesn't mean she's Different. not educated no 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 yeah well no one's saying that she isn't educated if she's covered but there's so many issues getting conflated here it's just a mess Hold on. Saudi Arabia, right? Saudi Arabia has had Islamic with, universities, with secular in universities. Yes, secular universities? I, mean, I don't know about that. That sounds like another made-up claim, but anyway, it's irrelevant. You, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know stats. You don't know the facts. And that's why you're running. Yeah, I mean, that really all applies to you. You've made so many mistakes in this video. But yet again, just to say... He's put out this Dawa video. If you haven't seen the first part, um, of which I did on this video, um, check check the link at the end. But he put out this video as an example of like he wants to share this to the world how well he did with his Dawa. And the first part of it was basically a non-Muslim who he completely failed with to the point where the guy's just saying, "Don't give me a Quran, so I'm not going to read it." Then he trying to get into a, a, a massive shouting match with the next Muslim. And then right at the end of this video, he 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 basically just 
grabs a guy off the street and just like say, no, 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 you're not going anywhere until you tell the until you take the shard up. So I mean, and this is a video he chose to put out on the internet to show his Darwa skills. I mean, what a fucking mess this whole thing is. So yeah, um, well done, Uthman, embarrassing yourself. And um, yeah, I mean, you you make the other Darwa clowns look good with this kind of incompetence. So I suppose that's the only thing that the Darwa community can take from this. But Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching him embarrass himself. I certainly did. And um, yeah, everyone have a good weekend. See you in the next one.